in order of broadcast, that was Diabolus Ex Machina, Salt, Cult of 2112, and Souls at Zero, featuring Astronoid, all, once again, by Perturbator, from the Uncanny Valley album released in Diabolus Ex Machina. <laughs> Sounds like a very good song to start off that break, given what we're playing. Devil in the Machine certainly seems like it right about now, given everything going on in the game. Speaking of which, let's get right back to it. Hmm, so... I was going to pay that fine gentleman visit. Let's go with this one. Oh, that's something I need to check. How do I activate my cloak? Uh, activate cloak, F1. Really wish I had a mouse with more than just the two buttons on it. Would make things easier, because then I could just swap those uh, macros out so that uh, mouse to activate my smart vision and cloaking device. Like it's this. I can't remember, I think I can get into this building through the fire escape here. You wait for them to save you. What? Uh, he's definitely talking to Illuminati. All he had to say was all seeing eye and you. Remember this place. You do? Oh shit. Five on one and you still had to shoot me. Piece of shit. Just hope they find what we're looking for, for your sake. Hey there. Boink. Jensen? Oh Christ. Brent Radford. In the flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers? For favors, there's a, a trauma kit I keep somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No. No time. The, they could be back any minute. Find the kit quickly if you want answers. I ain't talking with, without something to kill the pain, asshole. I ain't talking with, without something to kill the pain, asshole. You know, I could just... I'll be back. I could just leave you here. I'd rather you start spitting answers if you want that trauma kit. Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. And morphine. I ain't talking with... Uh, yeah, something. yeah. To kill the pain, asshole. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Sarah got spooked that that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Sarah. 
So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts and I'm just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me, professionals, I think your boss pissed off the wrong people trying to dig up your dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Syrup had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't, you don't know. Your parents, your, your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak? Focus, Ratbird. I put it all, I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley, behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows, Michelle knows more. You need to stop, you need to stop them. Robot, this this is all your fault. Give me, give me another shot. Morphine. Or go fuck yourself. Fuck. Focus, Ratbird. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. Hey, I'm feeling a little more talkative already. Robot. I really need to cut that shit out. You mentioned someone named Michelle. Who's Michelle? <laughs> Your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... Do robots even believe in angels? Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul. When they built you. <laughs> Tell me, what was it like when you died, Jensen? I know you're in a lot of pain, and the morphine is... Just find her before they do. You, you owe her that much. You didn't even tell me shit about her. I can get anywhere with this guy, I bet. Who did this to you? Guys in suits. One of them... David or Daniel, something like that, British accent. He was in charge. Talked about a Mr. Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry, four of them. Not counting the one they left behind. Well-armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You, robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone powerful has their eyes on you and is very interested in your past. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... they fucking... Paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know what a nine millimeter round fired at less than ten meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell. Ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair. Shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen, I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should, should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm gonna get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Why do you hate augmentation so much? Because it ain't right. You can't... You can't go changing the way things are. You can't replace the real thing with an... an imitation. 
It ain't right. It ain't natural. It can save your life. No, you lose more than what gets left behind in the chopping block. You should know this by now. Neither is suicide. Don't you fucking judge me, robot. You don't know what I've been through. Come on. This should be easy for you. I know Sarif didn't put blades in those in those arms just so you could trim the hedges. I don't think you really want to die, Radford. I think you're just scared. I was scared too. I didn't ask for any of this, just like you didn't ask for a bullet in the gut. But you can't blame me or Seraph or technology for what's happening here. I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you and your damn past. I never should have taken the job, but I needed the work, the money, even if I wanted to. I can't afford the fucking augmentation surgery. And I can't, I can't live like a cripple for the rest of my life. Living through adversity is what makes us human. It's not flesh and blood or even bone that defines us. I might be more machine than flesh, but I'm still alive. I'm still human. You got heart for a robot? I'll give you that. Tell you what. I'll play along with this little after-school special you got going on here. I'll get through this, but not, not because of this lovey-dovey bullshit charade. I'll live for the truth, for revenge. Whoever hired those suits, I'm going after those sons of bitches. I don't care how deep this rabbit hole goes. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. And Jensen, I don't know how bad you think your wounds were, but your boss, your friend Sarif, they butchered you. Went too far with the operation. You were an experiment, a test. But he's the one that made you a weapon. <laughs> Almost makes me feel bad for you. Almost. Oh, boy. Take the, uh... The, I guess... Come. Pritchard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He's in pretty bad shape. You need to call it in, get an ambulance to his apartment stat. Got it. And Jensen, don't get yourself killed, okay? Oh, Francis, I didn't know you cared. Don't flatter yourself. <sighs> I care about the security of this company. You getting yourself killed compromises that. So don't be stupid. Be stupid? Gotcha. But I do best. Oh. I only need one of you alive. Do I even need you alive? Question. I don't have to let you guys live, you know. Really wish I could lean around the corner. At this point, I have no qualms about killing any of you. So.
more tears. Dreams. Hawkinson. Okay. From encrypted to encrypted, Mr. Gray's itinerary. Stevens, I'm forwarding you a copy of Mr. Gray's travel itinerary. Imperative, you extract the information concerning his interests with the utmost discretion. You can't afford to tip off the target or its Sarah. Trust you'll exercise due diligence on this matter and be done before Mr. Gray. Okay. Yes, if you need anything, you know. Security rating three. Snatch this. That only affected the uh, data store over there. Access granted. Okay. You wrote. Mr. Seraph, I found Adam Jensen's psych evaluation following that SWAT incident with the augmented team. I managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it. At least not yet. I'll be honest with you. Oh, I've read this one already. This is good work, Brent. Keep it up. Bradford, here's a little nugget I gleamed off the PC of your man's view or X view. I was hoping to get more, but some nuclear snake was hounding my trace and I had to jump networks. When I tried to reconnect, my tunnel was caved. Whoever that was, they're good. I'm not going to risk going back in anytime soon. P.S. Consider my debt paid. This is the last time I do a job without the money up front. To Emreed from Rebecca Downey at Catharian Labs. Eternity test. Hey, Megan. I know you had some questions about the files I sent. Sorry about all the graphs earlier, but that sample was nothing short of... And I've read that, too. I had a friend, uh, yep, I already knew about that. You wrote, I thought this was pretty, hold on, I thought this was pretty interesting. I'm going to start digging around for some more info on this White Helix Labs. It could lead to a big break in the case behind our mysterious Wonder Boy, Brent. Uh, to Brent Radford from Lucius Marco. Brent, it wasn't easy, but I finally backtraced some of, uh, I've read that too. I've already read all this. Radford, I strongly advise you not to. I've heard enough and I'll have nothing to do with White Helix. The less I know, the better, and I would advise you to follow suit. In fact, consider your contractual, contractual obligations fulfilled if the investigation is over. I'll get in touch to organize the rendering and payment of bills for your service. So I read all that info already, really. You got in the safe. Alvar ammo, credit chip, ebook. Fire destroys White Helix Labs, Twisted Cedar, Michigan. At 4:36 a.m. on July 18th, firefighters were called to White Helix Labs to fight an early morning blaze. By the time they arrived, the main building was already engulfed in flames. General Manager Michael Barris could not be reached for comment. For comment, but a pre-recorded message had been left on White Helix Labs' toll-free line stating that nobody is believed to have been hurt in the fire. That message was later removed when firefighters began pulling bodies from the wreckage. The recovery operations are currently ongoing, Fire Chief Minnie Hawkins reporters, but also stated that the circumstances behind the blaze are very suspicious. White Helix Labs, a subsidiary of VersaLife, is a bioresearch firm studying childhood genetic disease. Ah. Uh. Love it. Waypoint is oh photographs. Found some photographs of me as a child. I should hold on to them and I should keep searching the storage unit. 
got to be more stuff in here. That's... I'll go through the emails again. Oh, I didn't notice this one. New lead, Michelle Walters. Hey B, got a tip for you on that case you're working. There's a woman named Michelle Walters. She worked at that lab you mentioned. White Helix? She was a nurse and good friend good friends with the Jensen's, particularly Arthur. Living in Detroit now on Brooklyn Court. Just one problem. According to my initial probes, she's senile. But you've always had a way with the ladies. Maybe you can coax some information from her. That seems like a pretty big lead. access yes there is hello This is Michelle Walters, is it? Oh, Walters, okay. My name's I was saying so. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Ronan Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Fred Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam. Miss Walters, can you tell me about the boy in those photos? The boy in those photos? Adam. Tragic, really, what happened to his parents. His real parents. His real parents? They died in that fire. Horrible, really. I was there. At least those other cribs were empty. I only had to save Adam. Mrs. Walters, I really need you to focus. What are you talking about? Why? told that night detective all this already about the experiment and the fire at white helix labs we knew adam was special that's why his parents started the fire so they didn't do the same thing to the next batch of babies so my adam's real parents were trying to protect him but from what why from the conspiracy of course too much. Would you be a dear now and go fetch my dinner? I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a delightfully handsome young man. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that How? 
he survived what they did to those babies. He was one of the kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants. Wait, what were they doing to the babies? Wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff. But Adam's parents, they started the fire. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam. Then they started the fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire in White Helix Labs. And you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensen's to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them Rona Mills people going to get here with my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Rafford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago. Well, Miss... Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you, dear. Why, it must be 12 or 13 by now. Make sure he gets something. One moment, please. Sorry about that. Uh, did she even? Crap, I wasn't. Oh, hello, dear. Is it dinner time? Richard, I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters, Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's... family. But she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Sarah. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I got an achievement for that. Yeah, I didn't. Why go this way first? I want to stop back at the offices if I can, just to check things, see if anything's changed. Yeah. Anything about. Uh. Fun with the main quest. Oh. Oh, I'm not getting to the offices. 
Never mind, I guess we're, uh... Yeah. Fine. It's going... Fast. Uh... This escalator has broken down too steep. Oh, 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 what the heck? Tell me about it. What the hell's going on? What is that? I'm not going insane, am I? Like. Something's up. Something's not right. That camera has to be controlled by uh, somewhere. Be a security Bill somewhere. Is really changing the world for the better. We're taking it back the way it used to be. Just like the place we were in. How he's going to convince you? Just can't subscribe to have it without the vote. That's why we came together in the end. All this to start? Just gotta try. Just gotta succeed. Who do you think would have kept that friend alive? is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. The world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. 
But I've learned the attack was just a smoke screen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plan. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Tagger. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first, due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal, that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second, as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. It's not enough to get a conviction, but it's enough for a search warrant. That's all I want, Taggart. Why are you standing in the way? I'm not. I'm trying to protect... Look, Mr. Jensen. If you play that recording for the police, at best, they'll dismiss it. At worst, they'll tell you to seek counseling. So, why are you really here? We all know you've suffered a terrible tragedy in the attack on Seraph Industries. Why can't you put it behind you? I can worry about myself later. What's really important now is the five innocent people whose lives were stolen from them during that attack. Sandoval knows where they are. Now, where is he? I want to help you. But I do have to draw a line. What is it you're truly looking for here? Absolution? A return to the feeling of control you lost when your limbs were taken from you? Do you think coming here today and casting me as your enemy will help you achieve that? to make you my enemy, Taggart. Your actions speak for themselves. You started the anti-augmentation movement, and now anti-augmentation terrorist groups are making headlines every day. You always say Humanity Front isn't violent. But look outside. We're seeing proof that it is. I speak out against it, but I just can't get it to stop. When I founded Humanity Front, I dedicated the organization to the memory of my wife, Marjorie, who died trying to help a man addicted to augmentation surgery come to terms with his illness. Marjorie refused to resort to violence. So why would any member of this group do otherwise? We are simply not those kind of people. I wish I could make you see that, but I fear you are unable to comprehend nonviolent solutions. Who's the one showing disrespect to your wife's memory right now? You chose to be responsible for everyone underneath you the day you chose to be the boss. Sandoval launched an attack on Seraph Industries, and you're hiding him from me? You're no better than he is. You and 
Burton, son of a... Mr. Jensen, if you knew Isaiah's son of Al as well as I do, if you knew the core of his being, in spite of his family history, you too might fight tooth and nail to defend him as I have. But you're right. If he has done something regrettable, then the truth needs to come out, whatever it may be. I'll show you where Isaiah is. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you'll all please remain patient. I will return as soon as I can. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Well, that. Nerve showing your hands or face here. And members of the Jewel endure our pain. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now, where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over. And then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people, people suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I, I understand, but please try. Oh, that went well. matter which way I leave It's a reliable source, goddammit. I need backup now. What? Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control, too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... <sighs> Damn it. Look, something big is going down, and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB or Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kind of busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, 
I need you to trust me on this. You've got to help me find Jacob. I have to admit, Nikki, I'm having a hard time believing White could come up with something like this. He can barely tie his own shoelaces without tripping all over himself. That was then. This is now. After his last stint in Standish, he got bug-eyed crazy. Started talking about how the gang war and derelict row was all part of a government plot, and it's time he did something about it. I remember him saying that augmented kid we took down last year was a cover-up. Exactly. And he's been railing against Wayne Haas, the PD, and anyone else involved in that ever since. I'm telling you, Adam, he's been getting more and more violent. Now he's got explosives, and we've got a giant bullseye painted on our ass. So why is it nobody trusts your source? He used to run with White's old crew, but he's a three-strike perk facing a dime on some damn parole violation. He's trying to cop a deal, so nobody trusts him. Thing is, I know he's reliable. He hasn't bullshitted me yet, and I don't think he's doing it now. What is it exactly that you need me to do? You mean you'll help me out? Really? I didn't say that. Assuming I did agree to help, what would you need me to do exactly? Oh. Well, based on Jacob's history and his new political agenda, I can almost guarantee he's going after cops. I've warned everyone working street detail and anyone else who'd listen to keep an eye out. But with half the force tied up with the protests and rioting, I can't get the manpower for a proper search. I need you to check a few spots my CI thinks Jacob could be at and take care of the threat if you can. And even if you find nothing, great. It put my mind at ease at least. Fine, I'll help. Let's go over what we know, just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy, hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me, and, and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now! Nikki, you're a cop. Act like it. How are you going to earn your stripes if you shake yourself under pressure like some wet-behind-the-ears rookie at the academy? Fuck. I, you're right. Damn it. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I lost my head. I'm still in the game, Adam. It won't happen again. You can trust me on this. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably going to be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, and he wouldn't risk hanging around the bank or transit station. They've got those security cameras with facial recognition software. And the precinct is shut down thanks to the internal affairs investigation. That leaves the precinct alleys and sewers as the most probable places to find White. I'm going to get on the horn and update my CO. Can you check those two locations? And Jensen, be careful. White may have left booby traps lying around. He's like that, now that I think about it. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we could check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. Yeah, don't call me twice. I gotta use the bathroom, I'll be right back.
All right. Alley and I go. All right. Yep. I heard the beep at the last second. That X is moving. Activate my cloak. Nothing will delay me.
for that. Holy shit, he's got turrets set up. Same damn security as that terminal, or the, yeah, the computer terminal there. Access granted. Okay. I have to run all the way back to... I think uh, I turn in this quest and then I'm done for the day because I really feel it. I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. We're in the clear. I left White unconscious in the sewers under the precinct. Thank God. The Chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. We'll take it from here. Great. 
Anything else? Oh, and it isn't much, but take this. The cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it, but you take down a cop killer and you get a bounty, that sort of thing. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but I think you earned it. I threw in a little something extra for bringing him in alive. It's good to know you're still one of the good guys, Jensen. By the way, Nikki, White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, shit. I totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need are more casualties. Man, I'm sure glad I bumped into you tonight. You're gonna have to let me buy you a pint down at Maggie sometime. If I hang around you long enough, maybe some of that famous Jensen swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Take care of yourself, Nikki. Dora 92 to Central. Come in, Central. I got a silencer for that? Weapon coordinator. Um. Ah. I had over, but yeah, like I said, that's hey, I now, but it's been great. I always love playing this game. Hope you guys always enjoy watching it. That's it for today, and as always, well, next time.